Bum 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 ba. Dun 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 dun. Hello, folks. Welcome to Three Over Zero News. I'm Nick Bernardo, reporting to you live from my very own living room on the night of Christmas Eve, waiting for Santa to arrive. On the scene is Evan Stump. Evan. Hi. Evening, Nick. It's true. I'm here just outside of Santa's workshop. It's almost Christmas, and a plate of cookies has been prepared for him, and all the chimneys have been particularly enlarged. It's a buzz of holiday cheer, and I'm standing here with several Christmas enthusiasts. Christmas enthusiast, and I'm sure that he's just as excited about the arrival of old Saint Nick as I am. Tell me, sir, when did you get word that Santa was coming here to his own workshop? Well, I heard it about three, maybe four weeks ago. I don't know. This time of year, everything just seems to blur together. I know, it must have been all the cheer and shopping, right? No, I don't like Christmas. But I'm sure that, like, you know, the, your family and children must get a lot of holiday joy out of this. It's, it's good fun. Well, my children bug me about it every single waking hour of this godforsaken holiday, so I really don't like Christmas. But, I mean, you brought them to Santa's workshop, so you're probably eating chestnuts by the fire and stringing popcorn, you know, all that good stuff. They dragged me here. They literally, all five of them, grabbed my arm and started dragging me here. I hate Christmas. Truly, you are an awful person. Humbug! You dirty rotten communist. What the? Ah! Well, you heard it here, folks. Everyone is just as excited for Christmas as I am. Back to you, Nick. Welcome back, folks. I'm reporter Nick Bernardo, and with me today, I have Rusky Henchman number five. Please come in, Rusky. It's pronounced Rackalop! I'm quite sorry. Please sit down. Now, how do you feel about Santa? What the hell is Santa? He's a big, jolly man that delivers big, jolly presents to little, jolly children. I never heard about the Santa before. He's the staple of the Christmas holiday. Besides Jesus, of course. Well, we don't have Christmas, which is where I come from, which is Russia. Because we, we used to be communists, and we have no religion. You really don't know the spirit of Christmas? No, all that we worshipped were blue jeans, Ferraris, and common goods. Because all the Russian government gave us was bread. And it was, <laughs> and it was sucky bread, too, because it was like sawdust. It sucked. There's sawdust. Sawdust bread. Sawdust bread, yes. Sawdust in your bread or bread in your sawdust? I don't know! Just go on with the questions! You stupid! So, uh, I, I can't really ask any questions. I mean, you don't know about Santa and Christmas. Wait a minute. Is he the guy who I've seen who's like big and fat and he's like covered in red? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's him. He looks like a mass mother who's just bathed in the blood of his victims. I've never heard anyone describe Santa like that. How could you? Well, I, That'd be kind of cool, actually. I'm sorry, go on. Well, well, do you want to learn about me? Mm, I don't know. We have 30 minutes of prime time left. Interview this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Well, 20 minutes ago, I just went to the cheese factory and planted graham cracker bombs. Because I love irony. <laughs> That's pretty ironic. What cheese factory? Uh, the one right next door. But, but that's where I get all my Gouda and my Munster. Oh, your Munster is going to be no more because it's going to be in between slams of graham cracker. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did oh, I there. I love myself. I'm so evil. That well, now that my Russian friend has disappeared, I guess it's back to you, Evan. What's going on outside? Tell me, Nick, that that was a lie. Did he just say that he destroyed the cheese factory? No! You! Did you blow up the cheese factory? That one right over there? Yes, that one. Maybe. Seriously? Yes, it was but, quite fun. But why? Without any cheese, Christmas won't come. 
But for me. But I thought Santa made presents, not cheese. Cheese is a delicious present and we love it very much. And without it, Christmas won't come. That'd be really weird if all you got was the presents for the stupid holiday was cheese. Well, it's like Easter where you only get eggs. What the hell is Easter? Easter is re-Christmas, sort of like how Good Friday is un-Christmas. Ah, all these holidays are making my head hurt. They're so stupid. No, they're important. To who? To me, you know, we get cheese that day. Well, you know what? You're stupid. All these holidays are stupid. You know, I don't have time for this. I need to go and find some Christmas. What, what are you doing? Are you committing suicide? That's not very nice, you know. No, I'm going to find Christmas. What, what, what the hell are you? Oh my ah! god. I need to find some Christmas before it's too late. It's oh god. Find some Christmas. You know what? I have a specific And you know what I find out? What? Santa isn't real! That's a lie! No, it's not. They always tell truth! No, I need to go find Christmas. Why? Because Santa's my father. What the. What? Santa's my father. And I need to go find him to make sure that Christmas happens. What the hell are you talking about? Are you cool going Ned? Are Run, you delusional? Evan. Run, go find your father and Christmas. Thank you, cameraman. This is the first official entry of reporter's Evan Stump Christmas finding log. Uh, I've been hiking for several days now, according to the Russian, and <laughs> I think I've reached the North Pole. Or Canada. And so I found this short guy with pointy ears, assumed he's an elf, and I'm gonna ask him where Santa is. So, Elf, can you tell me how close is Santa to this area? miles north. North? At the elves workshop. The elves workshop, huh. That's convenient. What's it look like? It's a green pointy house with lots of lights and a big Christmas tree right next to the doorway. Cool. Is it made of gingerbread? No. Are the elves made of gingerbread? No. Are you an elf? Yes. Really? No. Oh. Right, so are you sure about this whole North Pole thing? Being a couple miles from here? Yes. Are you sure I'm not just in Canada? Yes. Say A. A. I knew it, I'm leaving. <laughs> Day two of my official Christmas expedition to Santa's workshop so I can save Christmas and Santa will come for me and I have gotten lost again. Fortunately, the North Pole is surprisingly populated, and I ran into another elf who is also short and pointed eared. Tell me, elf, do you know how close I am to Santa's workshop? You go that way, and then that way. Seriously? Because that's what the Canadian kid told me, too. It's... You can't trust Canadians? Well said. <laughs> so, so, what did you wish for for Christmas? Harmony between magical and non-magical people. What a great thing. They say that Christmas is some magical feeling that you can find in your heart. Would you agree with that? No. No, it's all logic. Oh dear. Oh. It doesn't exist. It's all a figment of your imagination. So is Santa's workshop really that way and then left? Yes. Seriously? Yes. So I still can save Christmas? Yes. What time is it now? 742. Great. I mean, standard time. 4.30? East Coast. 2.45? I have time to save Christmas. <laughs> I'd better get going. Thanks, Elf. Day three of my Christmas expedition. Uh, I think I'm going south. There's less and less snow everywhere. But there are still candy canes, so I think I'm in the right direction. Although, see, there's a car. It's getting progressively warmer. And the people are getting progressively taller. Oh, I think I might have hit Russia. They also have fur hats. Um, also, when I was presumably at the North Pole, I ended up having to swim. I did not find Santa's workshop, although I did neglect to check underwater and in the glaciers. Day four of my Christmas journal. I literally just passed a gun making store. I cannot believe that Santa is this violent. You know, my childhood dreams are flashing before my eyes. And an industrial train line. So that's how Santa gets all his stuff. I thought it was 
reindeer magic. Day five. I'm hungry and tired, and I think Christmas already happened. So, I think I'm, I don't know anymore.